This is gonna be our home for the next well, couple days and then we move on to the next camp. Uh, one of six camps in order to get up to 20,000 feet. Currently we're at 7,000 feet. Well here it is. This is a uh, so-called uh, traffic jam in uh, at base camp. As you can see the uh, hundreds of people just getting ready for the right window of opportunity to make the next camp. Including this intrepid party from Chile. We have virtually 200 mountain climbers currently at base camp, virtually <laughs> representing some 20 countries. Nice job, nice job. Yes, I know it looks like the middle of the day, but it's actually the middle of the night. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, and this place is humming. It's about uh, minus 20 degrees right now, and it is bright and clear, just like the, Afri uh, just like the Alaskan stew, the Alaskan sun, 24 hours a day. Early morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, it is magnificent up here. Serene, ready for another day in on the Mount McKinley Range. Here we are. This is our intrepid guide, and there's a team up ahead, sliding through across the glacier fields. Welcome to 8,000 feet. This is quite a slog with a sled. A sled comprised of 70 pounds and your pack comprised of about 60 pounds. Everybody's grabbing uh, some drinks and a bite to eat before they move on to the next camp. Beautiful out here. Gorgeous weather right now. We've been very fortunate. Absolutely magnificent surroundings, magnificent in all directions. Clear, under clear skies, and great visibility. Again, there's a midnight sun, so there's no darkness here. Out by clouds is Mount McKinley. You can see it, but it's a hell of a long way off. This is the direction that we're going to be going. And it rises up very steeply. You can see that there's a team all the way, all the way up there. Finally, some weather we can all sink our teeth into. That and the delicious burrito in the wilderness. Of course, you have to have your umbrella to shield yourself from rain, snow, and sleet. Is that burrito as good as anything you've ever had at Taco Bell or what? Yeah. Put the hot sauce on it, that's too bad. It's that's burning. that's the real catcher, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now this is really weather that a climber can uh, embrace. Can't see in front of you, can't see above you, can't see behind you. Just love this life. Yo, another morning. All packed up with no place to go. Especially in light of the fact that you can really see in front of you here, it's about know, five to ten yard visibility. But we're going. And there you go. Sled. Off. And 
to the oblivion. Actually, this is what the uh, uh, teams do. They bury their catch, bury their um, supplies, or return trips, emergency rations. My team at Camp 2. Getting ready. Move on to Camp 3. Visibility is pretty poor, but the conditions weather-wise, there's no wind blowing, fortunately, and it's only about zero. Another day going up the big hill. Just another day. I know it's the short sleeve shirts. What's going on there? It's a little hot, man. It is a little warm, isn't it? Yeah, hi. It's breaking the temperature. female, a woman of the female persuasion. All right. <laughs> you too. As you can see, they got snowshoes, fully equipped, knapsack, and a sled. As you can see, winds come in here ferocious sometimes 60 70 miles an hour and that's why you are you, you're very careful to build up a snow wall around your tent so they don't blow away as several have in the past slogging their way up Mount McKinley 